guys, so today I'm filming my updated hair care routine. I think I filmed two hair care routines already, so you can check those. I'm really into hair care now because I have super long uh, blonde hair. It's almost till my belly button. Uh, that's why it needs extra care. I'm gonna start by saying that yes, my hair is not naturally blonde. I have uh, brown hair, but it's not too dark. I would say it's kind of a light brown. The dye that I'm currently using, me and my mom, we use the same dye. We buy one pack and use both of us in one go. So this is L'Oreal Glossy Blondes in 1013, light frosted blonde. We were using on rotation this one and um, Garnier Nutris in number 9. And we like both of them. Sometimes we would use 1010 instead of 1013. They don't differ a lot. Um, it's just kind of a different tone. Uh, but the, now this time that we used it, we were both so disappointed because the hair was kind of, you know, as you can see, my hair, it already looks dark. And it's not even kind of, yeah, you can see my roots are showing. They look very dark here. Um, no, but here it's so dark. I think we will both get back to Garnier um, number 9 because it's so just vibrant and just bright, bright blonde dye. It looks very beautiful and I got a lot of compliments from you guys when I use it. Okay, now, shampoo and conditioner that I'm currently using. My beloved shampoo is this one by Kerastase. It's Crystallis Shampoo. Uh, luminous perf perfecting shampoo, free flowing lightweight hair for long hair. I find this to be perfect for my long and very fine hair. I think it's like ideal shampoo for me. They have two different ones for thicker hair and for this one is for fine hair. And it smells so good. It's just flowery and just such a nice soft scent. A little goes a long way so I just... I don't wash my hair, whole hair with this shampoo, just my, I wash out the greasiness, my roots <clears throat> and uh, it leaves my hair so lightweight and flowy and it smells incredible and I will definitely keep buying this shampoo because I love it. I just recently got this John Frieda Sheer Blonde uh, shampoo. This brightens the full spectrum of blonde <clears throat> and I've used it like two times only uh, so far but I'm very impressed and definitely will keep buying because again the scent is incredible. My favorite mask is um, the Sheer Blonde John Frieda mask and it smells the same and I don't know, I, I didn't notice like um, increased shine in my hair but it's so soft after and it doesn't strip out the moisture from your hair and I don't know, I am really really impressed and I will probably keep buying this one. It's great, highly recommend the Sheer, <coughs> Sheer Blonde um, line for blondes. Other shampoo that I use kind of also on rotation but not as regularly is this L'Oreal uh, Professional Shine Blonde. This is brightening repair shampoo for blonde hair. And basically it is a purple shampoo. If you can see there in the nozzle it's Completely purple. As you guys know, it's recommended for blondes who are uh, to use kind of purple or silver shampoos to um, take away the brassy tones, the yellowness, and um, make the hair more cool toned. I don't, I wouldn't say I like see the difference, but I just like the idea of using it every um, every week, maybe one or two times a week. Just, just to keep um, the the color nice. My Crema à la Terre, um, conditioner, the the one in the big jar, big blue jar that I showed in my previous videos. If you want to see how it looks like, just uh, watch my previous hair routines. It's basically um, con like treatment or conditioner with milk proteins that smells like caramel and leaves the hair so silky soft. It's very cheap and you get one liter of it. So it's my favorite one. But I also use this instead of conditioner. This is um, Sheer Blonde Mask. Conditioning treatment for blonde hair. Um, nourishes distressed blonde hair. And um, you can use it 
as a mask and you have to leave it only for three to five minutes this is what I do usually I wash out my hair and while I'm shaving and you know all that jazz I just put it in my hair and leave for about three minutes and then I rinse it off it smells divine it's not very thick but the scent is so incredible and uh, this is my holy grail mask and when you wash out your hair is so soft and this is my savior when my hair gets super tangly and just very coarse this tames all the tangles and makes the hair like really really smooth like the fingers just slide through the hair and i love this mask and i would highly recommend for all the blondes out there now another mask that I recently got as a Christmas present from my friend is this Chorus Repairing Hair Mask with Sunflower and Mountain Tea. And it's for colored hair and I like the smell of it as well. It's kind of very organic and it's very slippery, very silky mask and it feels like kind of a milk, it's like milky white very interesting texture and I keep it for longer like um, on New Year's when Diva came we put it in our hair and put a you know a shower ca cap and let it kind of almost dry and then we rinsed out the hair and it was feeling very soft and manageable and I haven't used it uh, enough to really tell you what I think but this is just what I'm currently using as a mask. You guys may know because I keep mentioning it that I have super tangly hair because it's quite dry and fine it gets very tangly and it's hard for me to brush it out so to ease in the process I'm using this milkshake leave-in conditioner uh, for all hair types and it smells really really nicely like caramel or like condensed milk so I just spray a generous amount of it it doesn't weight my hair down doesn't make it look or feel greasy and it just really makes it more slippery so that the brush um, or the comb slides much better through my hair so I love this one now another leave-in I'm currently using this one by Kerastase this is Chromatermic Thermo Shine Thermo Radiance Protecting Milk for Color Treated Hair it has super strong scent which is a bit annoying Quite too much for me but I like this product a lot I've been using neck uh, not nectar cement thermique by Kerastase also which I prefer I think I think I prefer that one the scent is much better it's basically a leave-in conditioner and thermal protector in one and I love these products by leave-in conditioners by Kerastase because they're two in one they also have nectar thermique which is so much talked about um, so basically I take a pea-sized amount of this and uh, rub it between my palms and then um, spread it onto my hair and um, I like to use it especially when I know I'm gonna be blow drying my hair or styling with hot tools because I don't know it just adds moisture and protection and you cannot have enough of protection for your hair when you're using um, hot tools now another one heat protectant I got sent by L. this is Tresemme heat tamer and leave-in spray um, and I like it I really like the scent of it and again it doesn't make my hair greasy which is a, a big bonus I just spray a generous amount again on my hair um, and kind of uh, work it work it in with my hands before blow drying so I know that I have some extra protection this is Kerastase Elixir Ultim my favorite hair oil cannot live without this one. I love adding it both on my wet hair and on dry hair. When it's wet, I usually mix it up with um, uh, Chromatermic. Just put both of them in my palm, rub it and then apply onto my hair. Or when it's dry, I like to put it on the ends of my hair or just all over my hair to add shine. It adds so much shine to the hair. It's so beautiful and it smells like gardenia which is one of my favorite flowers and um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's not the most natural thing but and I haven't tried the Moroccan oil to compare it with because I know a lot of people compare these two but this is like my ultimate 
oil. I love it so much. Avita Volumizing Tonic. Uh, creates weightless volume and shine for fine to medium hair. So basically it's a toner that you spray on your roots and work it in and it's supposed to kind of lift um, your hair. But you have to be super careful with this one because it can leave your hair very greasy and just yucky there. So spray it only a few times, not too much. Don't overdo because once I thought, oh, you know, nice volumizing spray. I spray it on and I just... My hair felt so gross, like it's really, it was really strange. Um, so it's good for adding that bit of um, volume. I never like to tease my hair. It's the worst thing you can do for your hair to tease it with a brush. It's so damaging. So I prefer using kind of volumizing products to get the root lift. Another product. Now I recently got this big Raventa brush, which rotates and blow dries your hair. Um, so for that one, I specifically bought this TG Catwalk Straight Collection, Sleek Mystique Blowout Balm and Polish. Uh, la la la. It smells very strong. It has kind of fluidy scent. I think it has lychee in it, but it's very pleasant. And um, it's kind of a thick, sticky balm, and it has lots of shimmering particles in it. So I um, squirt five pumps of it. And basically again rub uh, between my palms and apply all over my hair. So what this product does, it um, adds a lot of shine to your hair and it tames all the frizz that you may have. And it just makes, as it says, the hair look very smooth and shiny. And this is a great product, I think, for blow drying. Also make sure to not overuse it because it can leave your hair quite sticky. But now it feels very nice and natural and I use this product before blow drying. Um, another one I absolutely love, this is Kerastase Crystallist Serum. And this is such a lightweight serum and you need half of the pump. I'm not kidding you. One pump is too much, so it's gonna last you for ages. So I use half of the pump when I style my hair and just run it through my hair and it adds incredible shine your hair is like i don't know your hair sparkles it's not a wonderful product for your hair because it contains alcohol so it can dry it out a little bit but i don't use it every day so i don't mind it it's just the best product for adding shine to your hair my favorite dry shampoo ever it's the sios anti-grease dry shampoo because it doesn't have this yucky powdery smell it smells like green tea, so it's very fresh and it also the mist is so fine, it doesn't leave your hair white or, or chalky looking. Hairspray is Laurel Elnet, uh, Supreme Hold Hairspray Volumizing Diffusion, blah blah blah. Um, I still have a tiny bit left and one can of hairspray lasts me for about a year I would say because I, I usually never use hairspray. It's very bad for your hair and I don't really feel like I need to use. If my curls loosen up throughout the day, I don't mind that. I mean, what can you do? They will, even with hairspray, they will kind of fall out. So I don't, um, I'm not a big hairspray fan, but this is my favorite. Now the two hair brushes that I'm using, it's a uh, tangle teaser. It's very good for uh, brushing out your hair when it's wet, even though it's bad to do it, but tangle teaser is pretty, pretty gentle. But I would say it's not the best thing to brush if you have super tangly hair like me, because it kind of brushes only the surface of your hair. You have to brush it in sections if you want to get the tangles out. It's good, but um, I'm not sure it des deserves all that rave. Now my favorite brush is this one. It's made in Italy. It's basically the concept the concept of Mason Pearson. It has boar bristles and it has plastic bristles. And it's super soft, very gentle and soft hairbrush, which I love. And I recommend investing in a better hairbrush if you wanna take a good care of your hair. Also, when brushing, always start at the ends and then work your way up. This way you will cause less damage. Yeah, this is basically all I'm doing for my hair. Just take good care if you are trying to grow it out and love your hair because if you don't, don't take care of it, it will just 
fall apart. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some ideas. I will see you in my next video and have a good night.